participles come in two forms which is the past form that is known as the past participle and they also come in the present form which is known as the present participle. So let's understand how we form the past participle and present participle by taking the base verb interest. So let's take our base verb interest here. To form its past participle, we simply add an ed to the base verb interest and we get interested which is a past participle. Now to form the present participle, we simply add an ing to our base form interest and we get the present participle. Well, an interesting thing here is that to form the present participle, you add an ing, whereas in case of regular verbs, we just add an ed to the base form to form the past participle form of the verb. So we have the past participle and the present participle. Let us uh, take one more base verb here. Let us take the verb confuse. So confuse is the base form of the verb. The PP or the past participle is confused. We have added an ED. And then we have the present participle which is what? Which is confusing because we are simply supposed to add ING to the base form to form the present participle. I have used some of the past participles and the present participles in these sentences here. The first sentence is, I was interested in the movie. So, interested here is our past participle. Let's take a look at the second sentence. The movie was interesting and this is our present participle. Like, I, I want you to notice it again. We have added an ED to form the past participle and added an ING to form the present participle. Now, what is the purpose of the past participle and the present participle? Well, the past participle is used to describe how people feel about something or someone. Here in the first sentence, when I say, I was interested in the movie, I have used the past participle interested to describe how I feel about the movie. And in the second sentence, if I look at the, mo the movie was interesting, I have used the present participle to describe something or someone. In this case, I'm describing the movie which was interesting. So just to quickly summarize, I would just want to tell you that participles are nothing but verbal adjectives. They come in two forms, that is the past form and the present form. So we have the past participle and the present participle. We form the past participle of the verb by adding an ed when it comes to regular verbs. And when we want to form the present participle of the verb, we simply add an ing. Past participle is used to talk about or to describe how I feel about something. Whereas present participle is used to describe someone or something. So that is it. That is what participles are all about. So until next time guys, happy learning.